Okay, so I posted two videos about this before, Sony versus Alexa. A lot of you mentioned that you wanted to see color space transform. Today we're gonna look at that. I'm gonna attempt to have multiple different ways of showing these clips from each camera side by side. It's interesting for me to see these types of tests. The Sony I bring around in a backpack everywhere I go. The Alexa, heavier, I don't bring it on vacation. But interesting to look at the differences between the two cameras. All clips were shot on the same settings. We will look at color space transform. We'll look at the manufacturer's LUTs and some looks that I created. Let's do it. So we have three scenarios here. One is more of a scene, two looks at skin tones, and three looks at highlights. All the Sony clips will be first, Alexa will be second. First shot here, no grade Sony, Alexa, one, two. Right off the bat, we can see there's a difference. You can see in the exposure here and where it clips. Sony's clipping right here at this light bulb. You can see that the Alexa is clipping there if it's even clipping at all. First adjustment here, just a color space transform to Rec. 709, which is the timeline. One and two. It is definitely brighter at the same settings. ISO 800, one fiftieth of a second, and the lens aperture was the same on each one. So next we do an exposure adjustment on the Sony to bring it up a little bit to match where the Alexa is. So I'll take a grab from the Sony and we can see there are exposures. You can see in the waveform here as I wipe this, pretty similar. Sony, Alexa. The only adjustments that have been made are a color space transform and bringing up the exposure a little bit on the Sony with the HDR wheels mapped to the camera, which is how you properly adjust exposure and resolve. And then the next shots we have the color balanced more. So we can see the Sony balanced, this is straight off the camera with the transform, balanced to the Alexa straight off the camera transformed. My face is more like red here. And just so you know, the mon this monitor is off in these shots, you can see no light on, it's off, so it's not it's not like two different shots getting on my face. And these shots were shot very close together and it was overcast, so there was no change in how things look here. Sony, Alexa, Sony, Alexa. The next thing we have is a grade. Sony, Alexa, Sony, Alexa. In the grade, main look is this LUT that I created, this was color space, color space transformed to log C. So the grade was built on the Alexa, transferred over to the Sony, but added a color space transform from S log three to log C. Sony, Alexa, Sony, Alexa. Okay, next thing, we look at skin tone. I have a light right over the top of the camera pointed at me and the light in the back both set to 5600. So this is the Sony, this is the Alexa. We look at the scopes here, Alexa's a little bit brighter. Um, same as before, just a color space transform to Rec. 709. Next one, exposure an exposure adjustment. No other color adjustments outside of that. Sony, Alexa, Sony, Alexa. Uh, next is the balancing of the color. I just copied these grades from the previous clips. A little more balanced. Sony, Alexa. And now we have the same, pretty much the same grade as applied before. Sony, Alexa. Okay, so now we have the manufacturers LUTs on each of these. So this is the Sony camera with the LUT that is used in camera converting to Rec. 709. And this is the Alexa with the LUT that's used in camera converting to Rec. 709. So now we're gonna do the same thing as before, So, but this time is with no color space transform, just using the manufacturers LUTs. I'm gonna map the HDR wheels to each camera. I'm gonna bring the exposure up a bit to balance out the walls, make them just white. And I will grab a still of this and match the Sony to that. The blacks seem to be more raised on the Sony, but 
Anyways, that's just another look at it using their LUTs. Okay, one other thing I'll show you is this is a LUT that I made with the Alexa in mind. So this is straight off the camera. This is my LUT. I have been using the straight off the camera LUT since version two of the firmware came out, but uh, I used to always use this. Now, the last thing that we'll look at is the highlights. We'll look at more at the scopes for this one. So this is the Sony S-Log3 no grade highlights clip right here. So the point of this is twofold. This whole time Sony's been in Cine EI mode. This is at 12,800 ISO. As an example that the highlights clip at the same spot. 800, 12,800. I'm gonna remove this clip and we'll jump from the Sony to the Alexa, same settings, 800 ISO on each. Little more room in the highlights on the Alexa. When Cine EI mode came out, there's a lot of charts on Google where you see the exposure going up in the highlights for the new Cine EI mode and like your highlights will always clip in the same spot. And I've tried to explain this a lot on the internet and it's, it's kind of hard to get into these discussions, but the Sony footage in S-Log3 will always clip right here at the same spot. Let's look at the Alexa at 800 ISO is clipping right here. At 1600 ISO, it's clipping even higher. You get more information in the highlights from 800 to 1600. If you look at this clip not clipping here and it's clipping here, this is 800 ISO. And then we'll go to 1600. It literally, there's more information. These three clips adjust the exposure as I adjust the ISO. So when I go from 800 to 1600, I go from 150th of a second to 1 100th of a second. You can see all of these clips, if you look in the viewer, have all the same exposure. What's different is 800 clips right here, 1600 clips right here, 3200 doesn't clip at all. That is very nice. So when you raise your exposure index, you are gaining more latitude in the highlights which you can see here, which is very nice for when you're shooting outside or shooting with harsh sunlight and bump it up to 1280 and get a little more latitude in your highlights. Again, on the Sony, no matter what, it will just clip right here. So I don't know if that's something that they can fix. I don't know if that's something that this sensor doesn't have, but um, there's no need to like increase your ISO to get more latitude in the highlights on a Sony camera because the highlights will always clip in the same exact spot. You can increase your exposure index on the camera so that you compensate your exposure with your aperture or ND, which actually is just the same as just bringing down your exposure. You'll protect your highlights, but you won't gain latitude in them. So that's, that is one big difference um, just in the way the sensors handle that. And I think that's it. This computer's hot.